am I? And furthermore, what do I want? What makes you itch? That's the most important investigation anyone can make. But you don't find this out until you investigate it. So I always ask the question, what would you like to do if money were no object? How would you really enjoy spending your life? Because if you say that money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. Forget the money. After all, if you do really like what you're doing, you can eventually become a master of it. And then you'll be able to get a good fee for whatever it is. Therefore, it's so important to consider this question. What do I desire? Hey, you gonna do this or what? You gotta do it. And keep doing it. Do it big. Bigger. Step it up. Always take the risk. Don't just watch it. Put your phone down and do it. Drip splash like the ice on the wrist. That's a call I can't miss. Set my goals like a goal. Hit the switch. Check it off the checklist. In a position to win. Well, now. Do it blindfolded. Next. Do it your endorsement deal. Say you shouldn't. Section 43C. No rope swing over canyon dunks. Like what's happening? Do what they say you can. Can you? Because there are those who don't and those who do. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Clyde Field on the campus of Utah Valley University for tonight's matchup, the first in the 2019 season for the men's soccer program in conference play between the Utah Valley Wolverines and the Houston Baptist Huskies. Game on between the Wolverines and the Huskies. Thank you for letting us be a part of your Saturday evening here on the WAC Digital Network. Brandon Crow with you. We had to downsize our camera crew. Due to inclement weather, if you're familiar with this Utah area, it is very crazy this time of year with weather and forecasts called for initially scattered showers and some light rain a little bit later on, but the clouds have gotten here quicker than expected, so we had a downsize. Utah Valley is going from right to left as we see it and as you see it in their third jerseys, their home midnight blacks with the neon green trim. And the Houston Baptist Huskies are in there visiting white and silver with the blue trim going from left to right as you see it and as we see it. Starters for Utah Valley for Houston Baptist are as follows. Houston Baptist starting Snellick, Poblacion, Faleto, Natera, Lee, Amaya, Cobo, Von Rees, Ugo, Monduano and Guzman in Utah Valley starting Longmire, Caprio, Felix, Moss, Frischneck, Vargas, White, Wagner, Brown, Jensen, and Garza. Houston Baptist trying to get things going early. Intended target on the near side goes out of play. It'll be a goal kick for Mitch Jensen in Utah Valley. The men's program for Utah Valley trying to cap off homecoming week here on campus with a victory to seal it off. The last athletic event of the week and of the night. The women's volleyball team was victorious earlier today against UTRGV in five sets. And just less than an hour ago, the women's soccer team for Utah Valley defeated North Dakota State 3-2 to two in a thriller. So the men trying to follow suit. The Huskies come into this match with a 2-4 overall record. 2-0 and at home and 0-4 on the road. Huskies looking for their first road victory on the season. 
and the first official WAC conference victory of the season in Utah Valley, who is looking deadly right now, deep in Houston Baptist territory. Looking for their first win in conference play as well. And looking for their first win at home since September 13th against Canisius. They lost to Irvine on the 16th of September in a 2-1 double overtime loss. And they went on the road, defeated Santa Clara 1-0, and then lost to number six ranked at the time, St. Mary's 1-2. Goal kick by Jorge Guzman. Good size homecoming crowd out in full force with the Vuvuzelas that they bought on eBay or saved from the 2010 World Cup in South Africa. There's a good, that was a good opportunity there by Houston Baptist, the intended target. Snellick. Alec Felix looking for Wagner on the near side. This one kicked out of play by Houston Baptist. Felix, Alec Felix had some fantastic news this this week. He was named one of 30 candidates for the Senior Class Award in the NCAA. To be eligible for this award Felix, among many other student athletes, they must be classified as an NCAA Division I senior and have notable achievements in four areas of excellence that the NCAA deems as community, classroom, character, and competition. And an acronym for the class award is celebrating loyalty and achievement for staying in school. The senior class award focuses on the total student athlete and encourages students to use their platform in athletics to make a positive impact as leaders in their communities. So a fantastic achievement. I know head coach Greg Moss was beyond happy to have another one of his players on the program be nominated for this as his son Zach Moss goes down on the far side. Felix was the fourth UVU men's soccer player to be named a candidate, joining Skyler Milne, Alex Neff, and Paul Hoffmeister. Frischneck chested down for Utah Valley in the box. Taken away by, by Garza. Wagner to Felix. Now here comes Houston Baptist on the run. Natera lays this one off on the far side. Paletto. Trying to penetrate, top of the box. Good ball movement now by Houston Baptist. Dodges around Felix. This one sent it toward the box, kicked away by Longmire. Still in play. Referee blows the whistle on the far side. Ball will be awarded to the Huskies. Free kick on the far side of the pitch for Houston Baptist early on in the seventh minute. Both teams jostling for position in the box. Here's the free kick sent in. Kicked up in the air and out of play over Mitch Jensen in goal. A very dangerous look for Houston Baptist trying to hit that far post. Last touch by Utah Valley, so it'll be another corner kick on the opposite side of the field for the Cougars. Excuse me, for the Huskies, I beg your pardon.
Here comes the ball. This one swung in toward that outside. Headed up. Houston calling for a handball of some sort. Frischneck coming over. Shields off a Husky to keep the ball in favor of Utah Valley. The head referee, Joseph Mock, says play on. Whistle is blown. They want Utah Valley to take this one a little bit further back. Longmire tees this one upfield. Intended target was Vargas. Garza trying to come in and pester that back line of Houston Baptist. Kicked out of play, last touch by Utah Valley. As of right now, the forecast does not have any rain as of the moment. Maybe some scattered spit showers here and there. The real heavy-duty stuff coming later on this evening. You see the wind blowing with the flags in the background from north to south. Going from left to right in favor of Houston. Intended target there was Dominic Paletto. As Miss Jensen gets the ball out quickly to Longmire. Chested down by Frischneck. Frischneck lays this one back. Now Moss. Moss sends this one for the far side of the box. Tim Ugo showing off his speed on the left-hand side of the pitch for Houston Baptist. Going 1v1 with Brown. And Brown falls down. Still with Utah Valley possession. Jaden Wagner. Wagner with Moss to his left. Instead goes right. Splits the defense. A body check. Sends Luis Vargas to the floor. Referee says play on. No whistle. Poblacion looking for a streaking Von Reese. Von Reese chests this one down towards himself. Now he's in the box. Von Reese going near side. Kick save by Mitch Jensen at the near post. Another corner kick for the Huskies. Headed up and away by Utah Valley. 12th minute. Huskies will let it go out of play. Another corner kick. They're going to switch sides. Having deja vu now the Huskies are. Back-to-back -back corners switching it up from both sides of the pitch. Houston Baptist registered one shot on goal, two corner kicks so far. Utah Valley looking for their first shot. Thirteenth minute, here's the corner kick going inside. Punched away. Houston Baptist still with it. Houston Baptist trying to get a kickoff, but now here comes Utah Valley with a counterattack. Utah Valley has numbers. Blake Frischnick and Vargas showing off their speed. Here's Utah Valley inside the box. Utah Valley cuts back. Player goes down. Penalty awarded for Utah Valley. Luis Vargas got brought down in the box. 
Joseph Mock, the head referee, was all over it. Vargas who has had his momentum going to his right, stops, cut back to his left, got tripped up, brought down. And Blake Frischnick will do the honors for the Wolverines. Here is Blake Frischnick with the penalty and is saved. A penalty save by Guzman. And Guzman is fired up. Uncharacteristic of Blake Frischnick to not put it in the back of the net. But credit to Guzman for coming up with the save. He guessed the exact place where Blake Frischnick was going and stopped him. Now Utah Valley trying to play defense as Houston Baptist putting on the pressure offensively. It was a great opportunity there by Utah Valley, and I'm sure they are going to want to have that one back. Knowing Blake Frischneck, he'll do whatever he can to try and get himself in a position to get that goal yet again for Utah Valley. Felix coming in, heading it down. Referee says play on, Jordi Cabo. Jordi Cabo wanted the foul call behind him. And here we stand in the 15th minute now. A quarter of an hour has passed in the match. Garza goes down in the center circle, draws yet another foul. And he goes down on his back, holding his right ankle. Putting both hands on his forehead. Finally comes up with help from the referee. Gets back on his feet. And Ahmed Logmeyer on the Utah Valley side of the center circle, right in the middle of the logo, will have the free kick for the Wolverines. Lahmeyer lays this one off. Sent in toward the box. Looking for Frischneck, but punched away by Kuzman. Frischneck, the intended target on that back post. Aaron Caprio comes up from his defender spot. Takes this one away. Garza. Vargas lays it off. And another player goes down. Referee says play on. Luis Garza with his fancy footwork. They got one call in the box, trying to draw yet another. Now Houston Baptist on the attack. Houston Baptist doing very well to put some pressure on that back line of Utah Valley's defense and Mitch Jensen. But Jensen comes up, brushes it off. Wagner. Nice turn by Moss, creates his own space. Moss now to Frischneck in the center. Frischneck lays this one off. Now back up top. Chipping this one in. Guzman comes up and scoops it. Starting to see the creativity now for Utah Valley on the offensive side. Seventeenth minute. Early on. Nice slide tackle on the defensive spot by Jaden Wagner to take that one away from Houston Baptist. Mitch Jensen. With a good, strong kick up field. Garza couldn't handle it. Now in possession for the Huskies. Yeah, 
out Felix. And this one goes too far out of play for Felix. Couldn't quite keep it in. It'll be a throw in for the Huskies right in front of the Utah Valley bench. Amaya switches it up. Amaya again. Goes back right and left. Now a field. Paletto. Amaya. Snellick. Snellick taken away by Felix. Felix the first necked. First necked. Dances around Snellick. Felix kicks it away into the near side. Wagner comes up to it. Now to Moss. Moss trying to split the defense. Goes down. Referee says play on. And Brown watches this one go away from the defender's side. And it'll be a throw in for the Wolverines. Temperature has dropped significantly now in the high 50s. We'll only continue to dip a little bit slower and lower as the time progresses. 19th minute. Utah Valley one shot on goal. Houston Baptist one shot on goal as well. The big storyline so far is Guzman saving and blocking, denying Blake Frischnecht and the penalty kick in the 13th minute. Jaden Wagner gets upended by Amaya, and a foul is called. It'll be a free kick for Utah Valley. Now Amaya is getting a talking to by head referee Joseph Mock. 20th minute. It's a good opportunity here for Utah Valley to get that goal that they were denied. You know how dangerous Utah Valley can be on set pieces. Zach Moss, Jaden Wagner. Moss curls this one in right at Guzman. First neck with the intended target. Got there just a hair late. Good ball movement by Houston Baptist and Cobo. Switching the field now, going to the upper opposite side in Poblacion. Felix steps up, takes this one away. Vargas, now to Frischnecht. Frischnecht with some open space. Frischnecht cuts to his right. Frischnecht splits the defense in the box now. Frischnecht with a shot deflected off of Houston Baptist. And a handball is called against Houston Baptist. So another opportunity here for Utah Valley. Their second penalty kick here in the first 20 minutes of the match. Looked like this one went off of Jorge Manduano. Manduano and company trying to plead their case. Blake Frischnick was denied earlier on and now it will be Luis Vargas stepping up. Very physical match so far. Guzman in between the posts. Looking large after that first PK save that he made. There's the whistle. Here comes Vargas. And Vargas makes no doubt. Utah Valley one, Houston Baptist nothing. Vargas took a run, 
about five or six yard run up to the ball and just absolutely blasted it past Guzman. Nothing he could do, leaving no doubt about it. Utah Valley on top, 1-0 in the 21st minute after a PK by Luis Vargas. That's Vargas' first goal so far on the season. Now Houston Baptist trying to respond and Utah Valley trying to add on. Push from behind by Houston Baptist. Another foul. Be a free kick for the Wolverines in the 22nd minute. Wind's beginning now to pick up. A couple of flags have fallen off the poles. Great touch inside the box. Garza, Garza penetrating. This one very deadly. Nobody home to put it away, however. Vargas. Trying to dummy this one off. Thought somebody was behind him. And here comes Houston Baptist on the counter. Switching it up the field. Full dead sprint. Hugo Von Ries. Now up to the pitch. And Kobo. Kobo. Lays this one off. Chip dying over and out of play. Luis Poblacion. Wishes he would have had that one back. Mitch Jensen sets up for the goal kick. Halfway through the 23rd minute. one nothing Utah Valley, courtesy of a Luis Vargas penalty kick. Wagner. Now played all the way back to Mitch Jensen. Wagner calling it. Finally receives it. Garza has it. Garza looking for Frisch next. Frisch next. With a turn. Switches it up. Goes to White. Leaves this one off for Wagner. Wagner with the left foot, swinging it in toward that far post. Headed away by Houston Baptist. Zach Moss with it. And he'll let it go out of play for a corner kick for Utah Valley. Utah Valley takes this one very quickly. Frischneck had it at his feet momentarily. All the way back, Wagner sees this one off and sends this one halfway to Salt Lake City. Twenty fifth minute. Jorge Guzman from Duncanville, Texas. The left foot kick in the center circle. Longmire coming in from behind to head it down. Now Zach Moss chipping it upfield, trying to find Frisch next, who gives a thumbs up to his teammate. Moss looking for Frischnick now on the right-hand side of the pitch toward the corner. Frischnick gets it, turns down toward the byline, pass the defender. Frischnick inside the box, kicked and deflected out of play for another Wolverine corner. Frischnick. 
first substitution about to be made by Houston Baptist. Looks like Lucas Vasquez set to come on. Moss, corner kick for the Wolverines. Send this one into the near post, headed away by Houston Baptist. Tim Ugo showing off in extreme speed. Gets right around Caleb White. Caleb White trying to chip him from behind. Ugo slicing and dicing his way through that Utah Valley defense. Caprio, it's called off by Jensen. White to the near side. Wagner. No Garza. Garza with the chip. Nice defensive play there by Houston Baptist and the Huskies. Hugo Von Ries. Tim Hugo. Outside the box. Hugo going to cut back to his left. Ugo now back to his right after the spin. Ugo going to size one up. Goes over the top of Mitch Jensen. Tim Ugo steps off. Vasquez checks on. Andres Rojas steps on. And Jordi Cobo comes off. Twenty seventh minute. Mitch Jensen getting ready for the goal kick. Jensen with the big boomer past midfield. Headed down by Moss. Back heel flick by Vargas. Keeps it in play. Physicality really showing itself here. Faletto all over the pitch. Referee says play on. Here's a shot. Mitch Jensen with the save. Kicked out of play by Wagner. Twenty-eighth minute, and we're flirting with the half-hour mark of the match. Corner kick for the Huskies. Swung into the near post, headed away by Utah Valley. Another corner kick for Houston Baptist on the left-hand side of the pitch. Twenty-ninth minute time continues to kick away. This is the fourth corner kick for Houston Baptist. This one set in again toward that near post, headed down by Felix. Still in play, bouncing around off of Utah Valley. Headed up and out of the danger zone by Wagner. Now Garza with it, flicks it up. A good turn, now Wagner gets taken down. Foul is called against Jorge Manduano. Utah Valley with a free kick. Coach Greg Moss in the background. Wanted to know if, why that was not a yellow. Utah Valley had the advantage. Wagner with the left foot. 
Headed up and away by Houston Baptist. Corralled down by Vargas. Vargas. Shifty. Gets dispossessed. Now back to Caprio. Caprio, keep going. Played up to first next. Dispossessed. Faletto for Houston Baptist now. Faletto with it. Dispossessed again. Now here's Felix on the near side to Garza for Utah Valley. Wagner. Caprio. Switches the pitch. Goes to Longmire. Longmire up the field. The 31st minute. Leo Fuchs set the check in for Utah Valley. The next opportune moment. Garza. Up to first next. Vargas slips and falls. Referee says, get up. Ball kicked out of play. Leo Fuchs will check in for Utah Valley. And Vargas will step off as Leo Fuchs checks on for Utah Valley. Fuchs again adding a different dynamic offensively. But Vargas, the goal scorer, gets a great job from his head coach, Greg Moss. High five and a back tap. Well-earned few minutes of rest. Houston Baptist kicks this one out of play. Another Utah Valley throwing on the far side. Alec Felix, Wagner, Garza. And Garza can't keep it in play. A little over 15 minutes left here in the first, excuse me, First half. Brandon Crow with you here on the WAC Digital Network from Orem, Utah. Luis Vargas' penalty kick. The difference maker so far in this WAC opener for both Houston Baptists and for Utah Valley. Vasquez keeps it down to himself. Vasquez finding his teammate in the box. Vasquez now receives it again. Deflected and kicked away by Utah Valley. First neck with the beautiful touch. A little bit too strong as it bounced around off of a couple husky feet. White gives way to, Var to Vasquez. Vasquez gets taken down. That'd be a free kick. In a dangerous spot for Houston Baptist. Caleb White coming over to make sure that Vasquez is okay. Vasquez sits up on his own power. Thirty-fourth minute here at Klein Field at Orm, Utah. And three more substitutions about to be made by Utah Valley. Their own Vasquez. Aaron Nixon as well. Now here are the Huskies. Trying to hit Mitch Jensen, who is a one-handed Superman save, keeping that far post corner safe. Beautiful shot. By Houston Baptist, precision. Clutch jeans coming up by Mitch Jensen to make the save.
Searching ball goes out of play via goal kick for Mitch Jensen. 35th minute. As Vasquez, Nixon, and Pena are set to come in for the Wolverines. Garza comes off. Frischneck two. And Zach Moss. Houston Baptist going from left to right as you see it and we see it. In their road, white and silver. Here is Houston Baptist. Mitch Jensen coming up to make a save. Mitch Jensen showing up here in the first half for Utah Valley to keep that clean sheet. Big time from the goalkeeper. Major collision on the far side of the pitch. Caleb White. And Elijah Lay. And Elijah Lay is on the floor. Caleb White picks up a yellow card. Lay gets up on his own power. Thirty-six minute. Ball bouncing around in the box. Felix now kicks it upfield. Vasquez has it for Utah Valley. Now Caleb White, who just got the yellow card, switches the field, comes back to the left. A little bit too far for Zaire Vasquez. Houston Bas Baptist, a missed time kick. Luckily, they get it back, however. Felix, again, doing well to dispossess from behind. Pena in space. Pena trying to find the through ball for Leo Fuchs. Leo Fuchs gives a thumbs up. And now right around on the other side, here come the Huskies. And Aaron Caprio steps in front. And here comes Zaire Vasquez. Vasquez finds Fuchs. Lays it back off for Vasquez. Vasquez. Goes 1v4 and loses that battle. Von Ries. Too far for Vasquez. 38th minute. Throw in for the Wolverines. Zaire Vasquez to flex that ball out of play for a throw in for Houston Baptist. Two handed toss, Hugo Von Ries. This one kicked off of Farletta. Wagner, now Felix. White, up the middle to Vasquez. Vasquez plays it back to Longmire. Longmire, up the pitch. Nixon got a head on it. Right into the hands of Guzman and quickly gets it back up to the pitch to Hugo Von Ries. And Von Ries plays it all the way back to Amaya. Amaya up the field, chested down by Caprio to Felix. Wagner. Ahmed Longmire up the pitch. Thirty ninth minute. Now officially the fortieth. About five minutes left to play here in the first half.
Houston Baptist trying to find their momentum offensively. Majority of the possession and pressure being applied by the Wolverines. Caprio to Longmire. Back to Caprio. Caprio back to Jensen. Jensen gets it out of play. Hugo Von Rees. Folletto. Now on the back line for Blafion. Brown. Kicked out of play. Mark Brown celebrated his birthday yesterday. Right now he's enjoying a 1-0 lead by his squad. And his birthday present that he requested was a Wolverine victory at home for homecoming. And right now the Wolverines are well on track to do so. Mitch Jensen sets up for the goal kick in the 41st minute. Sends a big boomer. Headed down by Zaire Vasquez. Looking for Pena. Pena wrestling. It's the foul called against him. Pena jostling there with Elijah Lee. Aaron Nixon up top for Utah Valley. Going back and forth. Forty second minute halfway through. Houston Baptist with possession. Now into Utah Valley's half, dispossessed by Longmire coming in from behind. Nixon lays it off on the left hand side. Zaire Vasquez with it. Vasquez tees it up in the back of the net. Golasso Zaire Vasquez. Oh yes. Zaire Vasquez's beauty in the 42nd minute froze Jorge Guzman, turned him to stone. Guzman didn't know what to do and just watched it fall in the back of the net. Vasquez tees it up, perfectly bent in place. Guzman, nowhere to go. Heads bowed on the back side for Houston Baptist. 2-0 right before half. Hometown crowd in a frenzy right now after that beautiful goal. Has a whack top play, Sports Center top play, 12 6 curveball rotation from Vasquez from deep. Absolutely froze Jorge Guzman. Forty-fourth minute. Vasquez, the goal scorer, boots this one upfield to the center circle, looking for Aaron Nixon. This one headed back down to Mitch Jensen, who scoops it up. Beautiful outlet to Vasquez. Vasquez with Wagner to his left. 
Wagner cuts back to his right. Now Pena switches the field. Brown back to Longmire. Felix. Pena now with it for Utah Valley. All the way back to Longmire, who plays it all the way back to Mitch Jensen. Final minute of the first half. Aaron Nixon. Utah Valley is most likely just going to waste the clock out here in the first half, not strain any more muscles that they need to. 20 seconds left in the first frame. And this one will take a deflection off of Houston Baptist, be out of play, be a throw in for the Wolverines. Utah Valley takes its time. And that is how the first half will end. A golazo by Zaire Vasquez in the 43rd. And Luis Vargas PK in the 21st is what separates the two squads. 2 nothing Utah Valley at the break. And we'll take a break as well. We'll be right back with more on the WAC Digital Network from Orem, Utah.
Welcome back to Clyde Field on the campus of Utah Valley University. Brandon Crow with you here. Utah Valley taking a 2 to nothing lead into the break and coming out of the break. Zaire Vasquez, wonder goal. And you might see going around on the social media webs coming in the 43rd minute to put it up to 2 to nothing. First goal came from Utah Valley in the 21st minute. Luis Vargas, a PK. He left no doubt blasting that one by Jorge Guzman. But game on in the second half. Utah Valley against the Houston Baptist Huskies. Utah Valley will be going from left to right as you see it and we see it. And the Houston Baptist Huskies in their white and gray trimmed uniforms will be going from right to left as you see it and we see it. 45 minutes left in regulation. Mitch Jensen with the big booming kick with the wind behind him. Finding a streaking Blake Frischneck who's onside. Blake Frischneck trying to... Chip Guzman, the keeper, couldn't quite get there. That would have been an electrifying start for the second half for the Wolverines. First Nick trying to kick that one off of his knee. Trying to catch Guzman off guard. Brown. Good slide tackle there by White. Houston Baptist with the ball in possession. Trying to find the back of the net for the first time this evening. Houston Baptist coming to the near side. Intended target there, Jorge Mondoano. Mondoano lays this one off for Cobo. Paletto again lays this one back. Mitch Jensen scoops it up after the one hopper. Zach Moss trying to sneak in on the defensive side. Zach Moss goes down. The referee says play on. A throw in for Utah Valley. Brown will do the honors. Fiftieth minute here at Clyde Field at Orm, Utah, on the campus of Utah Valley University. Again, Brandon Crow with you. Thank you for letting us be a part of your Saturday evening, wherever and however you are joining us. We do want to apologize. We received word momentarily that one of the streams has crashed, but it is back up and running now.
Kobo going against Felix. Felix dispossesses for Utah Valley. Now Caleb White. Caleb White trying to chip this one in for Greg Moss. Excuse me, Zach Moss. Greg Moss looks on. And this one will go out of play. Brown will throw it in. Brown looking for any of his teammates to make a move. He likes to go back to Longmire. Longmire will kick it over to Caprio. Caprio sends this one upfield. Trying to squeeze by the last two defenders was Blake Frischneck. But it goes all the way into Jorge Guzman's hands. Brown boots this one high in the air. Switches up the field on the left-hand side of the pitch. Wagner comes up. And the ball deflects off of his hand. Be a free kick for the Huskies. Blake Frischnick wins the ball back for Utah Valley. Goes down. The referee says play on. Houston Baptist now. Vasquez with it. Vasquez switches up the pitch. Natera. Dispossessed by Moss. Vargas. White, that back to Caprio. Caprio now up the field. Frischneck trying to back heel flick this one to Vargas. Now Moss to Vargas. Felix. Nice touch by Utah Valley. Blake Frischnick gets behind the defense. Misses on the first. And collected by Guzman on the second. Good play on the ball there by Houston Baptist. Nice touch to collect that from the air by Jorge Manduano. Fifty fourth minute. Now Utah Valley in full force on the offensive side. Vargas, the intended target. And Guzman comes up to take it away. Good handling on the ball by Felix. Now Moss. Headed away by Frischneck. Now here comes Utah Valley. This one goes out of play. Luis Garza a little overzealous. Didn't quite bend it the way that he wanted it to. Now Houston Baptist with it. 55th minute. Still a lot of soccer left to be played. Utah Valley trying to do the best they can to keep their energy levels up. Despite having that two-goal lead in the first half, they know that Houston Baptist is a team that could potentially strike at moment's notice. Brown goes down. Vasquez plays on.
Snellick switches it up. Poblacion. Poblacion plays it all the way back. Mondawano. Good turn on the ball by the Huskies. Now toward the end line. Penetrating into the box is Kobo. Kobo on the right-hand side of his foot. Plays it back. Now still toward the end line. Headed away by Utah Valley and Longmire. Fifty-six minute. Mitch Jensen and company trying to keep the clean sheet. The Huskies of Houston Baptist trying to find the first goal on the night. And cut the deficit in half. Swung it toward the near post. Headed up in the air. Out of play. Last touch by the Huskies. It'll be a goal kick for Mitch Jensen. Jensen sends a high, booming kick deep into Husky territory. Moss corrals it. Brown steps up to take it away. And the urgency has definitely been picked up here by the Huskies. Longmire trying to come back in for, to defend. Gets ahead on it. Fantastic play by Ahmed Logmeyer to come in, get his head on that ball, and not draw any contact or a foul whatsoever. Great athleticism. Now good ball movement here by Utah Valley. Here comes Garza. Garza trying to lay this one off for Vargas. Now Brown with it. Moss sends this one in toward that back post. Headed down by Blake Frischnick into the back of the net. Of course, Blake Frischnick makes it 3 nothing Utah Valley in the 58th. Take another look at it. Beautiful ball sent in. 20 and, 20 and, seven on and Blake Frischnick with the cool dance moves to show for it. Zach Moss, that Brown credited with the assist. And 3 nothing Utah Valley lead just shy of the 60th minute. has Clyde Field in a fantastic mood on a Saturday night, the final night of homecoming week. That is Blake Frischnick's fifth goal on the season. Continues to be a vital weapon for Greg Moss's squad. Vasquez will step off the pitch. Checking on. Daquan Thomas. And Houston Baptist has a big mountain ahead of him to climb. You can still hear the intensity and the, and the chatter on the field from Utah Valley, especially on that back line of defense. 
And a whole slew of fresh legs being warmed up by the Wolverines in the distance. And the Huskies, Hugo Von Ries, lays this one back. Now switched all the way to the near side. Manduano. Manduano, back to Snellick. Now in the middle, Poblacion. Poblacion trying to find the through ball. And this one will go out of play, down out of the byline. Goal kick for Mitch Jensen. Jensen's setting up for a big one, sending all of his team toward that midfield line. Great athleticism to keep that in play by Felix. Fully stretched down with the scissor kick to keep it in. Now here comes Utah Valley again on the attack. Frischneck with the left foot shot this time. Diving save by Guzman. Frischneck wanted that second goal. Guzman coming up with a huge save. Blake Frischneck dispossesses. Here comes Blake Frischneck. Blake Frischneck lays it off. And Vargas, too hard of a touch, right into Guzman's hands. Mitch Jensen with a touch save. Keeps it at his feet. Now finally picks it up. Houston Baptist trying to do anything they can. Luis Poblacion taking that shot from distance. Just to switch it up. Sixty-second minute here, Clyde Field in Orm, Utah. Utah Valley on top, three nothing, in this whack opener against the Houston Baptist Huskies. Vargas's penalty kick in the twenty-first minute opened up the scoring for the Wolverines, made it one nothing, and then Vasquez had a wonder goal in the forty-third to make it two nothing right before half, and Blake Frischneck courtesy. Zach Moss's beautiful free kick headed into the back post in the 58th minute. It's where we stand. And could very well easily be four, at least five to nothing. Jorge Guzman doing everything he can. He already stopped Blake Frischneck's penalty kick in the 13th minute. Came up with another save on Blake Frischneck right out of the gate in the 46th minute. Just 30 seconds into the second half. And came up with another save just moments ago. Now Houston Baptist trying to tack on a, a goal to take away the clean sheet for Mitch Jensen. Good anticipation there by Moss. Switching up the field to Felix. Now here comes Frischneck. Frischneck with the head full of steam. Frischneck blows by defenders in the box. Blake Frischneck still on his feet. And off the side netting. Well, 
when Frischneck really turns on the speed at his size, he is a force to be reckoned with. Six foot three, 185 pounds senior from Las Vegas. Vargas with it, dancing around back and forth for Utah Valley. Now Jaden Wagner. And a whistle is blown, foul called against Utah Valley. And be a free kick for the Huskies. Here come the Huskies now, deep into Utah Valley territory. This one off of the top of the post, an inside-out toe poke with a lot of pace. Just barely misses. That thing had a lot of movement on it. Jordy Kobo with the shot. Checking into the match. Fahim Patel stepping off to get some well needed rest is Luis Poblacion. Mondawano sends this one up. Jordi Kobo, the intended target. Longmire falls down. Kobo still with it. Now Longmire kicks it up. And right into the arms of the Husky bench. Huskies quickly get it back in play. Ugo loses it. There's a full sprint now for Utah Valley. Garza. Vargas goes down, gets right back up. Garza again. Garza toward that end line. Garza still with it. Chips it back toward Vargas, deflected off of Houston Baptist. Jaden Wagner with the slide tackle, kicks it out of play. Throw in now for Utah Valley, right in front of their own bench. Three substitutions waiting in the wings. Leo Fuchs. Zaire Vasquez, the goal scorer. Along with James Pena. And then checking in for the Huskies, Tim Watson. So Hamas Pena checks in, stepping off is Zach Moss. Elijah Lee checks off. Luis Vargas, Luis Garza step off. Frischnecht again, dancing with it. Frischnecht 
just barely misses again with the left foot laser. Frischnecht is one of those players you can't take your eyes off once he has the ball. At a moment's notice, he'll just blast it into the back of the post with some English. Frischnecht looking for that second goal after he was denied that PK earlier on. Houston Baptist with some space. Manduano. Here's a good look now from Baptist, and this one it will go left. Tim Ugo wanted a shot on it. Sixty-ninth minute. A little over 20 minutes left to play here in regulation. Utah Valley with a very comfortable 3 0 lead. If you're just now joining us, Vargas got the goal scoring for Utah Valley started in the 21st minute with the PK. After that, Vasquez with the wonder goal in the 43rd to make it 2 0. Then Blake Frischneck in the second half with the 58th minute header to put Utah Valley on top 3 0. Frischneck lays this one on Zaire. Vasquez wants number two, bouncing around and ultimately missed by Utah Valley. Beautiful layup there by Blake Frischneck with the back heel touch, laying it off for Zaire Vasquez. Jorge Guzman coming up big yet again for Houston Baptist just to keep the score where it is. That sets up a Utah Valley corner kick. Corner sent in, headed away by Baptist. Guzman comes out to make the save. Out of play, however. It'd be another corner kick. And there is a Husky writhing in pain in the middle of the pitch. Referee calls stoppage of time. So try to see what number this is. Looks like that's Fahim Patel. Might have gotten the wind knocked out of him as he comes up holding his chest area. Brown from the outside. Brown swinging in toward that back post. Punched away by Guzman. Guzman now running all the way out with it. Empty net situation. And he's got to come all the way back into his, into his post. This one headed up and back by Utah Valley. Kicked out of play into the softball nets. The band you hear in the distance, the Green Man Group, the pride of Utah Valley Spirit Squad. Cross toward the back post, eventually lands on top of the net. Jaden Wagner, the left boot from the left-hand side of the pitch. <laughs> Jan Fitch checks in. Hugo Van Ries will step off. Leo Fuchs now for Utah Valley. Nice step over. Slicing and dicing his way through. Has a shot deflected off of the Huskies and be a corner kick for Utah Valley in the 72nd minute. The three is not enough. Utah Valley really trying to come out and make a statement in the opening match of WAC play. Especially after the 
preseason rankings coming in, putting Utah Valley way deep in the pole. So we're bouncing around all over the pitch, eventually cleared away by the Huskies. And one back by Blake Frischneck. Frischneck going 1v1 against Ugo. Whistle is called. After this one, Utah Valley will go on the road into southern Texas to take on UTRGV and then go and play at Incarnate Word before returning back home October 10th and 12th against CSU Bakersfield and California Baptist. Little shove from behind, foul is called against Houston Baptist. And the yellow card is issued to Houston Baptist. Gianluca Natera, the guilty party. Here's the free kick for Utah Valley. Sent in way deep. Another back head flick by Blake Frischneck. Comes close. No cigar for the senior. Lucas Vasquez comes on for Houston Baptist. Gianluca Natera will step off. Blake Frischneck will come off. Aaron Nixon steps on. Caleb White will come off, and McKay Eves will step on for Utah Valley. About 15 minutes left to play in regulation. Utah Valley on top very comfortably with the 3-0 lead over Houston Baptist. Leo Fuchs finds himself the recipient of that wonderful header. Now Houston Baptist back with it. Jaden Wagner dispossesses for Utah Valley. Now back to Caprio. Eves to Wagner. Wagner to Pena. Goes out of play, be a throw in for the Wolverines. Pena coming in from behind, takes it away. And Houston Baptist sneaks an opportunity here. Pow! Diving save by Mitch Jensen, a one hander. And that blast from Lucas Vasquez had some mustard on it. In swinger, kicked away by Utah Valley. Felix chips it up to Vasquez, now back to Felix. Felix pulls back the trigger. Good ball movement by Utah Valley. Vasquez slowing it down the pace, chipping it up the field. Pena, back to Vasquez again. 
Vasquez with the layoff. Vasquez, this one deflected away. Out of play. Be a corner kick for the Wolverines in the 77th minute. Here's the corner kick from Utah Valley, headed up in the air, chested down now by Felix, lays it off for Brown. Brown now to the near side. Pena. Pena with a couple step overs, some fancy footwork going towards that end line. Pena beats the defender. Pena, back post, nobody home. Leo Fuchs falls down. That'd be a goal kick. Houston Baptist now in Utah Valley territory. Daquan Thomas. Monduano lays it back. Nixon dispossesses. Now here is Pena. Pena with a step over. As Brown to his right lays it off for Brown. Brown pulls it back. Gives it back to Pena. Pena. Switches the field. Leo Fuchs runs it down. Eves now with it for the Wolverines. Eves slides it into the box and kicked away. Back to Wagner on the outside for the Wolverines. Longmire. Zaire Vasquez. Now Brown. Pena again. Dispossessed by Houston Baptist. Patel to Vasquez now. Thomas with it at the edge. Taken away, deflected by Brown. Vasquez with the man behind him. Gets it away to Felix. Felix to Pena. Back to Brown. Now back to Pena. Textbook ball movement now for Utah Valley. Here's Nixon showing off some speed. Gets to it. Just outside the box. Nixon penetrates, goes back to his left. Pen he shoots. Leo Fuchs trying to tap it in. Guzman coming up with two saves and gets the collision. The initial save from Guzman wasn't clean enough. Leo Fuchs coming in to try and clean it up. Had a collision with Guzman. Guzman taking his time, getting up. And we take another look at it here. Solid ball movement. Again, the deflection. Fuchs trying to tap it in, and Guzman outstretched arms around the ball right as Leo Fuchs is trying to kick it. 80th minute, Guzman back up on his feet. And it looks like Greg Moss will have a another handful of subs to make. Get some more players playing time in the whack opener. Houston Baptist with the chip, trying to find Ugo. Ugo does well. Going against Caprio. Now Caprio. Gets the whistle called against him. He is unhappy with it. Eighty-first minute continues to tick away. Houston Baptist trying to find the back of the net for the first time this evening. Mitch Jensen trying to keep that clean sheet. This one right toward the box, scobbled up by Jensen. Half his body in the net, the other half with the ball outside of it, doing everything he can. Two 
Jensen having a fantastic day. One of the biggest weapons of Jensen is his leg that he uses to strategically place that ball down the field whenever he gets a goal kick opportunity. Zaire Vasquez wants another. This one will go wide left. And three substitutions will be made by Greg Moss. Peniston John, Rice, and Dayton will step on the pitch for Felix. Wagner and Brown. Becca Rice. Sterling Peniston John. And Aiden Dayton will step onto the pitch. Wagner, Felix, and Brown, his night is over. Eighty third minute, about seven minutes to play in regulation. Ugo showing off that explosive speed on the outside. And showing off some frustration as he blasts that ball into the netting. Goal kick for Mitch Jensen. Here's Nixon in the corner for the Wolverines. And he touches it out of play. Be a goal kick for Guzman. Eighty-fourth minute here at Clyde Field in Orem, Utah, on the campus of Utah Valley University, where the Wolverines have a three-nothing lead over the Huskies of Houston Baptist, opening up whack play. Utah Valley making an emphatic statement in this home opener. Zaire Vasquez lays this one off. Nixon cuts back to his right, splits a couple defenders. Ball bounces around. In the box, comes back to Pena. Pena that wants to chip this one in off of the post. And he smacks his hands in frustration. Becca Rice wins it back for the Wolverines. Leo Fuchs plays it all the way back. Caprio calls off Peniston John.
Nixon lays this one off. Becca Rice on the left-hand side of the pitch. Becca Rice showing off his moves. Fancy footwork in the box. Becca Rice making people miss. 87th minute, Utah Valley trying to tack on another. Here at home, Houston Baptist. Dispossessed. Vasquez with it, dancing toward the end line. Deflected. And kicked out of play by Houston Baptist. Be a throw in for the Wolverines right in front of their own bench. Dayton goes down to the corner. It's taken away. Eighty eighth minute. Utah Valley leads the all-time series against Houston Baptist with 3-2-0. And Utah Valley with this game today will move to 4-2-0 against Houston Baptist. The Huskies, they snapped a two-match losing streak with a two-win, two-nothing win last season in Houston. And all five of those prior contests were won by the home team. And chalk this one up as another victory for the home team. Dayton to Becca Rice. Becca Rice plays this back to Peniston John. And Caprio. Eves. Still with it. Goes end over end, comes back up. A little over one minute left to play. So again, Utah Valley will head on the road, travel down to Texas to the Lone Star State for two games in conference play next week. They'll face UTRGV on the 4th and then Incarnate Word on the 6th, again before returning back home here to Orem, Utah, to take on CSU Bakersfield on October 10th and California Baptist on October 12th, a Friday, excuse me, a Thursday-Saturday matchup there before going back on the road at Kansas City, at San Jose State, at Seattle U, and then finishing off the month of October on Halloween. Trick or treat for some fans to come to a Utah Valley game against UNLV. And that is the final whistle. Utah Valley is victorious 3 to nothing, at home to kick off WAC conference play. Your goal is coming from Vargas in the 21st off of a PK. Vasquez in the 43rd off of a wonder goal to make it 2 nothing, And then break Blake Frischneck sealed the game, leaving no doubt with a header in the 58th minute. Utah Valley will travel on the road, and we'll be back. In October, for all of our hardworking staff and crew behind the scenes, for Ben Schroeder, I am Brandon Crow saying so long and good night from Orem, Utah.